Hello viewers, welcome to Uval, the channel for database and data professionals. With this topic on Oracle Enterprise Manager 13C, I am going to demonstrate how to create an OEM 13C agent gold image, manage it and use it for mass installation, upgrade or patching of OEM agents on multiple database servers. If you have been using OEM for the last couple of years, then you might be aware that in the past, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control has offered several approaches for installing management agents, such as the add host target wizard, EMCLI command, and the response file to silently perform the installation, etc. Starting with version 13C, Enterprise Manager Cloud Control offers agent gold image option that can be used for mass deployment that is, install, upgrade, and patching of management agents simultaneously on multiple hosts in your environment. So, what is an agent gold image? An agent gold image is an ideal state of a management agent software managed by enterprise manager. You can create an agent gold image with customized configuration of the desired versions of the management agent software, desired versions of the monitoring plugins, and desired patches. An agent gold image version is created by an enterprise manager administrator using a live reference management agent that is thoroughly tested and found to be working fine, which is called a base agent. An agent gold image version can be used to provision new management agents or update existing management agents on a large number of hosts in a much quicker and easier way, as it saves a lot of time for the DBAs and OEM administrators in managing the agent and their life cycles. I am dividing this topic into three parts. In part one, we will create an agent gold image with version 13.5 and use that to install agents on multiple hosts. In part two, we will upgrade agents from version 13.4 to version 13.5 using gold image on multiple hosts. In part three, we will update the gold image with latest patches and use it to apply patches on multiple agents, on multiple hosts. In this demo, I am using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines to create my virtual lab environment. If you want to create your own virtual learning environment in your desktop or laptop using VirtualBox virtual machines to learn database, Unix, networking, etc., please watch my series on Oracle VirtualBox virtual machine. And also, I have a 16-part full series on OEM named Mastering OEM 13C covering everything you need to know to administer OEM. You can watch them using the link in the description of this video below. Now, let's start with the part one where we will create the agent gold image and use it to install agents on database servers. This is my OEM 13.5 console installed on a virtual host named admin server on a 64-bit Oracle Linux platform created using Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines and I logged in as Sysman user. Now, let's take a look into all our four virtual servers or VMs that we are going to use in this demo. This is the first server named admin server where our OEM 13.5 or the OMS is hosted. Let's take a look at the OMS status also. I will first set the environment for the OMS and we will use emctl status OMS and we see that the OMS components are the second server is named admin SBR, and there is an agent version 13.5 installed, which we are going to use as the base agent to create our gold image. Let's check the agent process, and we will do a so status for the agent using emctl status agent, and we see that the agent status is running and ready, and it is communicating with the OMS server that is admin server that is this first server the third and the fourth servers are named vm linux 1 and vm linux 2 respectively where we will deploy our 13.5 agent using the gold image now let's go back to our oem console if you want to create your own virtual learning environment in your desktop or laptop using oracle virtualbox virtual machines to learn database unix networking etc Please watch my series on Oracle VirtualBox virtual machines 
and also I have a 16 part full series on OEM named Mastering OEM 13C covering everything you need to know to administer OEM. You can watch them all using the link in the description of this video below. Now first of all, I will go to the all targets page from this target menu and under that all targets to show you all the agents that were installed. Let's sort it by target type and we see all the agents installed there. And out of these agents, I am going to use this particular agent named admin sbr.orxpart.org, which is running at port 3871 with the version 13.5 as my base agent for the gold image creation. Please note that you cannot select the central management agent installed on the OEM server as your base agent for the gold image creation. For example, this particular agent named admin server.manash.home, which is installed on the OEM or OMS server cannot be used for our gold image creation. So we'll select this one, admin SBR, and we will click on the agent link to go to its home page. And if we scroll down in the bottom left corner, we'll be able to see the plugins already installed on this particular agent. Say you have 10 hosts where you need to install the OEM agent and the agents need to monitor golden gate targets on those hosts. Without an agent gold image, you would have to install the agent on all those 10 hosts first and then deploy the golden gate plugin on all of them in a separate step. But with the agent gold image, we will deploy the golden gate plugin on the base agent first, then create the gold image from the base agent. And that way, whenever, wherever that gold image will be used to deploy agents, the deployed agents will already have the golden gate plugin along with them. Same way, you can also apply the paths to the base agent, then create or update the gold image, and then use that to deploy on other servers. So let's first deploy the Golden Gate plugin on this particular agent. To deploy the Golden Gate plugin, we will go to Setup, Extensibility, and Plugins. Let's collapse the application section and go to middleware section, and under that, we have the Oracle Golden Gate plugin. We'll select that line and then we will select this deploy on button, then management agents. And in this screen, it's giving us some details about the plugin. Click continue. And then from the list of agents, we will select the one that is going to be used as our base agent, that is admin SBR. Click on the continue button and then click the next button and then click deploy. So this is going to start a job and if we want to see the status of this particular job, we'll click on this show status and then it will take us to the job details page. We will set the auto refresh to 15 seconds so that we get a more frequent update on the job status. It will hardly take a minute or so and as we can see the status, all are successfully completed. Now let's go back to the agent homepage and scroll down to the plugin section where we should be able to see the new plugin for the Oracle Golden Gate version 13.5.2 has been installed. Now we are going to use this particular agent as the base agent to create our gold image. To create the gold image, first we'll go to setup menu and under that manage cloud control and under that, gold agent images. And for the first time, if you are using this feature, this page will show all the blank sections. And then we will click on this manage all images button here. And then we will press this create button that will ask for the image name. And we are going to give the name of the image as ZI 13.5 Linux x86.64 separated by all underscores. So I'm putting everything in the name itself so that by looking at the name, I'll be able to find out all the details about this image. And the description, I can simply put base 13.5 image. You can leave it blank if you want. And the platform name will be Linux x86.64. And then press the submit button. Please note that it has just created the image name with some metadata 
and the actual image is not yet created. To create the actual image, we will have to press this link here for the image name. Then in the next page, we we'll land at the version and drafts section. And under that, we have to click on this action button to create the first version of this gold image. So select the create option here. Then in the image version name, I am selecting a name agent underscore 13.5.0.0.1 and the description I am selecting simply v1 as version 1. Then create image by this option will select selecting a source agent because we are going to use a base agent to create this image. Then we will click on this search button to select the agent which will be used as our base. So I am selecting this admin as vr.oraxpert.org then press the select button and for the work directory configuration properties and exclude files these sections can be left blank to take their default values. If you click on that that will give some details about what it actually means. For example the work directory must have at least one gig free that is nothing but the home directory of the base agent. So you have to make sure at least one gig is free there and the others also I am keeping blank and then press the OK button. So it is giving a summary saying that no subscriber agents are found. It means this base agent image doesn't have any subscribers yet. We will explain what is a subscriber, how to subscribe an agent gold image etc. as we go. Now press the yes button and then a job is actually submitted to create the gold image. If we want we can see the details of the job by going to its detail page and then let's set the auto refresh to every 15 seconds so we get a more frequent update. Also reduce the height of this top section so that we get the detail steps below and their status and currently we see that it's in progress of the create gold agent image step. So this particular job takes normally around 5 minutes. I will pause the video and I will come back once the job is completed. So after around 5 minutes we see that the status of the job has changed to past means our first version of the agent gold image has been created. Now stop the auto refresh and then we will go back to the gold images page. Click on the image link to go to its detail page then press this manage image versions and subscriptions button and in this space we are able to see that the base version has been created with zero deployments and it is in the draft status. Please note that as long as it is in the draft status we will not be able to deploy it on any targets and also we have a couple of more details below like general instance properties, plugins, fetches, activities etc that has been associated or performed on this particular version. Now to be able to deploy this particular version on targets that is on hosts we have to change it to current version and to do that we will simply select the line and press this set current version button here. And we see that the gold image version has been set to v1 and the status has been changed to current and this has completed our agent gold image creation step and next we are going to use this gold image to deploy agents or install agents on multiple targets. To deploy or install agent using this gold image on multiple servers we will first go to setup menu and under that add targets then add targets manually. Then click on the install agent on hosts button here then in this page We'll expand this section agent software options and we'll be able to see a new option available there as with gold image. So we'll select this particular option and that will give us a list of gold images to select for this installation. Currently we have only one gold image so there is only one entry in this list so we'll select that. Image version is current and then we will press this add button to add the hosts. So first we will select this particular host vmlinux1.oraxpert.org and the platform will be Linux x86-64 and also we'll add the second host with the name vmlinux2 
and both these hosts have the same platform so it is selected there already we'll click the next button here so load from inputs from previous sessions we don't have to select this and we see the installation details here as the platform as a software version and the hosts that we have selected then the installation base directory we are going to use the pre-created agent13c directory under u001 slash oracle directory and please make sure that this part is valid on all the servers that were selected for this deployment then the instance directory it is selected by default under the base directory then the name credential the global name credential that was created for the oracle user as host credential and i'm not selecting the root credential here because we don't have to run the root script when the deployment is done using an image created from a base agent where the root script was already run and say i'm going to use the port 3871 for this agent and optional inputs i'm not putting anything here for pre-installation scripts post installation scripts etc then click on the next button and this is a summary of what we have selected and then we will click on the deploy agent button here this is going to take around 10 15 minutes based on the server performance i will pause the video and i will come back once the deployment or the installation activity is completed so after around 10 minutes we are able to see that the job has been completed successfully we see all the green check marks in the initialization remote prerequisite check and the agent deployment sections now i'll go to the servers and see the agent status in each of them first let's go to the vm linux one using pscf grab em agent and we see it is running and let's check the status agent home under that bin directory then emctl status agent and we will copy this line to the second server also and we'll run the same command here emctl status agent and in the first server the command has returned the value and we can see everything is working fine the agent is running and ready and it was successfully uploading the data to the oms also similarly go to the second server and here also we see agent is running and ready and it is successfully able to upload to the oms now let's go back to our oem console go to the targets and all targets and sort the targets as per target type and we are able to see the two new agents that were installed on vm linux 1 and vm linux 2 these two hosts with the version 13.5 now one last thing we need to check here whether newly deployed agents have the golden gate plugin installed so we'll click on the vm linux 1 link for the first agent to go to its home page and scroll down and in the plugin section we can see that the oracle golden gate plugin version 13.5 is installed there already now let's go back to the other host also that is vm linux 2 scroll down and in the plugin section we are able to see that the same golden gate plugin version 13.5.2 is installed in this particular agent also now i want to show you a couple of things about the gold image that we just created and used for the deployment let's go to the gold image home page from setup menu when is cloud control gold agent images and this is the gold image we created and we see a couple of statistics about that like how many agents are subscribed the agents we just deployed or installed using this gold image has become the subscriber of this particular gold image and agents on gold image is also going to be the same because those two agents were based on this particular gold image and on this graph we can see mainly two statistics the number of agents not on gold image and number of agents on gold image then if you click on the gold image link then it, it will take us to the detail page and from this screen we will use the manage image versions and subscriptions button here which will give us some more details and in this screen you'll be able to see who are the current subscribers the two agents that we just deployed automatically become the subscribers and using this subscribe button you'll be able to add more subscribers for example we see there are two more agents 
which were not yet subscribers of this particular gold image. Once an agent becomes the subscriber of the gold image, it will be able to get the benefits of the gold image like updates, upgrades, etc. And also if you want to unsubscribe, you can use the unsubscribe button here and you'll be able to remove an agent from the subscription list of that particular gold image. And we'll talk about this update and add host feature as we go in the coming parts of this topic. So this is how we can use an agent gold image to mass deploy or install agent software on multiple hosts. Now let's move to part two where we will use the agent gold image that we created in part one to mass upgrade existing agents in our environment. So I logged into my OEM system as sysman user. Now let's take a look at all the targets that we have. Let's click on the target menu, then go to all targets. Let's sort the targets by target type. And in this list, we have the agents in our system. Now if you see, in this list, we have two agents installed on two servers named VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4. And these two agents have a version 13.4. So we are going to take these two agents as our candidate agents for upgrading using the agent gold image that we created with version 13.5 in the last part. Now before we start our upgrade process, let's take a look into the three virtual machines that we are going to use. The first one for the OMS, the second one, this VM Linux 3, and the third one as VM Linux 4. So I will go to MOBA Xterm, that is our client SSH application. And the first session that I established to the OMS server named admin server as Oracle user. And Oracle is the owner of all Oracle installations in these all three servers. I will first set up the environment, then I'll use the emctl status OMS command to show you the status of the OMS. And we see that the three components of our OMS are up and running. Now let's go to the second server named VM Linux 3, where also I established the session using Oracle user. And here, first let's find out the agent process that is currently running using psef grab em agent. Let's copy the agent home, that is the 13.4 home. Go to bin directory, then emctl status agent. And we see that the 13.4 agent is running and ready and it is also successfully able to upload data to the OMS running at admin server, this particular host. Now I will copy this same command to check the status of the agent in the third server also because the agent home part is the same in both these servers. And we see that here also the agent is running and ready and it is able to successfully upload the data to the OMS running at server, admin server. Now let's go back to our OEM console. And from this all targets page, we will go to the home page of the agent gold images from this setup menu. And under that, manage cloud control. And under that, gold agent images. This is the only gold image named ZI. 13.5 Linux x86.64 that we created in the last part. We'll click on that to follow the link to its detail page. And in this page, we see this manage image versions and subscriptions button. We will press this button. And in this page, we see there are already two agents which are the subscribers of this particular gold image. And these are the two agents that we installed with version 13.5 in the last part. Now, to use this gold image to update our two candidate agents with version 13.4 to version 13.5, first we have to make those two candidate agents subscribers of this particular gold image. And to make them subscriber, first we will press this subscribe button. Then it will give us a list of all agents which are currently not subscribers. So we'll select the two agents named VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4 and then press the select button. And now we see that the agents named VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4 are in the subscription list of this particular gold image. And now we can 
use this gold image to update the versions from 13.4 to 13.5 for these two agents. And to do that, we will first select these two lines by pressing the control button and click. And then we will press this update button here and select the two current versions. And once we select this two current version option, we arrived at the next page immediately and we see that the agents are selected here and the image version is 13.5.0.0.1. This is the custom name that we have given to the version. And in the choose credentials section below, we need to actually select the privilege credential that is for the root user to run root scripts, etc. But we can leave it with the default options selected because it is needed only if we are making changes to the sbin directory under the agent home. I'll just leave it like this and press the next button. And in the next screen, it is asking to run the root script manually and we will do that after the update operation is completed. Now press the OK button. Now in this screen, there are a couple of interesting settings. The first one, image version pre-staged. It means it's going to stage the image on the target servers on a staging area. If you want, you can check this button. And if you do not select this, there will be two options there. The deploy agent using push option or pull option. This is an online activity and it does not require a staging area. And that's the reason if you select the staging area, these two options are omitted. So I will unselect it and I will use the push method. That is from the OMS to the agent this operation will be pushed and the stage location we don't have to worry about that pre update script we don't have any post update script we don't have any additional parameters we don't have to specify custom directory we don't have to specify and the schedule batch size whatever it is taking we'll just leave it as default job frequency every 15 minutes success rate 90 start immediately and duration indefinitely it means we do not limit this operation to complete within a certain time frame. Then notify, specify one or more email addresses for the job status. We don't want to send any emails at this time because we will be able to see it online. Shell profile will again keep it as default. Now in the cleanup options, these cleanup operations will save some space. So we will select both these checkboxes there, pre-cleanup and post-cleanup. And then we will press the update button and a job has been submitted for this update operation and we'll be able to see the status of this job by going to the job details space by following this link and then we will set the auto refresh to every 15 seconds so that we get a more frequent update on the job status expand this window and this update job is going to take around 10 minutes i will pause the video and i'll come back once this update activity is complete. Now after around 10 minutes, the update job has been successfully completed. We can see the status of two success there. And also we see both the agents with a status with a green check mark. So they are both updated successfully. Now I want to show you something about the changes that happen in the agent home. So let's go back to the SSH session that we established to the two servers. The first server, that is the VM Linux tree, we will do a ps minus ef grab em agent to check the agent process. And here we can see agent process is running from a new home now. So this particular home, agent underscore 13.5.0.0 under another directory called gold image underscore agent underscore 13.5.0.0.1 under the agent base directory. Let's Check the agent status under this new home. We'll go to the bin directory and under that emctl status agent. And the agent is running and ready and it is successfully able to upload the data to the OMS. And this is the new agent home. And we'll do the same command in the second server also. Let's go to VM Linux 4. And the second server also showing us the agent status as running and ready. And this is the new home. And if you see this particular new directory created under the agent base that starts with gold image. And this tells us that 
this particular agent was actually deployed through a gold image and the second part in this name is the agent underscore 13.5.0.0.1 this is nothing but the name that we have given to the version of the gold image that we created in the first part so this particular folder name has a specific format and under that the new agent home is created the next thing we need to do is to check whether we need to run the root script or not to do that we will go to the agent home again that is the new home and under that the sbin directory and we will see the files there and if we see these files owned by root user then actually we don't have to run the root script here similarly we will also go to the sbin directory in the first server and we will see the files there and there also we see the root own files are there so actually we don't have to run the root script in this server also so we are all set now let's go back to the oem console and then we'll go to the all targets let's sort the target list and there we see that the vm linux 3 and vm linux 4 are now listed with the version 13.5 so this is how we can use the gold image to mass update oem agents on multiple servers and with this i am concluding the second part in this topic now let's move to our final part that is part 3 where we will use the agent gold image that we created in part 1 to mass apply patches on existing agents in our environment. So I logged into my OEM system as sysman user. Now let's take a look into all the virtual machines or servers that we are going to use in this demo. So this first one named admin server where I logged in as the Oracle user is the server where our OMS is installed. So let's take a look at the OMS status. First, I will set the environment. Then I'm going to use emctl status OMS to check the status of the OMS. As we can see, all the three components of the OMS are up. And then we'll go to the server named admin SVR, where our base agent on top of which the gold image was created is running. Here also I logged in as Oracle user and first I'll see the agent process running and I will do an emctl status agent to check the status of the agent. So under bin directory it is emctl status agent. So we can see our base agent is running and it is ready and it is communicating and uploading data to our OMS running at admin server. Then we'll go to the third server named VM Linux 3, where I logged in as Oracle user. And first I will check the agent process using PSCF grep em agent. And here also I will check the status of the agent. So I'll go to the agent home and under that the bin directory, then emctl status agent. And here also I can see that the agent is running and ready. Then we'll go to the fourth server named VM Linux 4. And here also I will check the agent process. And then I will go to the agent home to check the status of the agent. Then agent home under that bin directory, then emctl status agent. And here also you can see that the agent is running and ready. In fact, these two servers, VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4, they used to have two 13.4 agents, which we upgraded to 13.5 in the part two of this series using the gold image that we created. And we will update these two agents with the release update or RU22, which is the latest when this video was published using the gold image. Now let's go back to our OEM console. First, let's go to targets and under targets menu, all targets. Let's sort this list by target type to list out all the agents at the top and we are going to use this agent named admin SVR as our base agent and the other two agents running on VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4 as the target agents to update with release update 22. Now to check the release update apply status we will first go to the sysmen menu and under that we'll select this about enterprise manager and we see that currently the OMS 
is with the update 22. It means the release update 22 has been applied on the OMS. Now to check release update 22 apply status on the agents, we will first go to the setup menu and under that manage cloud control then agents. And in this list, we can see under this column RU version, there is only one agent which has the release update dot 22 is mentioned. It means this is the only agent and this is nothing but the central management agent which is installed in the OMS server itself. So all the other target agents are not updated with the release update. So we'll select these two agents named VM Linux 3 and VM Linux 4 for this update. Again, if you want to learn how to apply the release updates or RUs on OMS as well as on the agents using the conventional method, please watch the part 12 and part 13 of my OEM series named Mastering OEM that I mentioned before. Now let's go to the agent gold image section. I'll select the setup menu again, under that manage cloud control and under that gold agent images. Then press this manage all images button. And this is the gold image that we created in part one with the name ZI 13.5 Linux x86 64. And it already has five subscriber agents. And we created it as a base agent image as mentioned in the description. And this is the gold image which we will use to update our target agents with the release update 22. But before we can update them, we need to apply the update to the gold image using the base agent itself. And to do that, we will go to the server named admin SBR where our base agent is installed. Let's clear the screen. And actually, I have already transferred the patches to the temp file system. So let's go to the temp file system and list out the files. And this is the directory named agent underscore ru22 where I have my patches. And out of these two patches, this first one with the smaller size is nothing but the agent patcher utility, which is used to apply multiple patches on the agent home. Patching is much simpler using agent patcher on agent homes and OMS patcher on OMS homes instead of using the opets utility. So first I will unzip these two zip files using unzip utility. So unzip the first zip file and I will unzip it to a directory with the name of the patch itself. And I'll do the same thing for the other patch also. The bigger one in size is the actual RU22 patch for the agent. So here also I will unzip it to a directory named with the patch name. Now both the patches are unzipped. Now let's take a look inside the agent patcher. And under that we should be able to see a directory named agent patcher. And we need to move this agent patcher directory to under the agent home. So first let's take a look at the agent home again using psef grep em agent and this is actually the agent home so what we are going to do we'll use the mv command to move this directory to under agent home so it has been moved now we will change directory to the other paths that is the actual agent RU22 paths and then we'll go to this patch directory with the patch number and first we have to analyze whether this patch can be applied on the agent or not using the apply analyze command but before that we have to export the oracle home environment variable so we'll copy this as an home path and assign it to the Oracle home. And then we will use the agent patcher utility to apply analyze. Let's clear the screen first. And then we'll use this command that is the agent patcher utility under the 
agent home that is the oracle home and under that the agent patch or directory that we just moved and then the apply minus analyze command and to run this command you must be within the patch directory you have to remember that this will take a moment to analyze and give us the report about whether that ru22 is applicable on this agent home along with all the dependencies or not and the apply analyze command has given the output where we can see that it has been successfully completed except a few patches which cannot be applied because some of the core components not yet deployed in our oem system or the agents so they are simply going to be skipped but all we need to do is to take a look into the last message which says that agent patch are succeeded now we are going to actually apply the patch and to do that first we will have to shut down the agent so we'll use the command under agent home bin directory emctl stop agent and the agent has been stopped now we are going to use the agent patcher apply command please note that this is the same command only the analyze part we are removing from the aid so agent patcher apply will actually apply the patch to the agent which we just shut down just confirm to proceed and after around five minutes you can see that the agent patcher was successfully completed applying the patch that is the ru22 and as we can see the agent is running and ready after the ru22 was applied now let's go back to the oem console and then we will go to the manage cloud control option under the setup menu and from there we'll go to the agents menu to check the status of the ru version and as we can see that the ru22 has been applied on this agent running on admin svr so our base agent has been successfully updated with the release update 22 now we will update the gold image which is based on this particular base agent and to update the gold image we'll go to the setup menu first then manage cloud control and under that gold agent images and then press this manage all images button and this is the gold image we are going to use so click on the image link to go to its detail page and in this page we will first go to the versions and drafts tab and here we see that the first version was created which we already used now we have to create the second version of this gold image which will have the ru22 in it so we will press this action button then we'll simply select the create like option and then we'll change the image name to agent underscore 13.5.0.0.2 remember the earlier one was one and the description we will simply put updated with ru22 and the remaining things will leave as default because it is already selecting the base agent from the server admin svr so press ok some relevant information are given about the image as summary and then we'll press the yes button to start creating the version 2 of our gold image and as the job is submitted to see the detail of this particular job we'll follow the link And as we can see at the top of this list of jobs, the activity currently it is performing is in progress status. So we'll wait for around five minutes, then we'll check back if the version two creation activity has been completed for this particular image. It has been over five minutes. Let's refresh the screen. And yes, we can see that the job got completed successfully. Now let's go back to our gold image page again. Press the manage all images button. Then follow the link. 
and there we see that the second version is available with the new version name now before we can use this gold image we have to make it as the current version so to do that first we'll select the line then press the set current version this particular button here and now we can see that it has moved to the top of the list and it is now current version now we can use this image to apply the updates on its subscriber agents and to do that first we will go to the subscriptions tab and from this list i'm going to select this vm linux 3 and vm linux 4 these two particular agents using control click and then press this update button and under that i'll select to current version this particular option and again it is going to create a job for the activity and the list of agents it is showing you can add and remove agents from this list if you want and the choose credentials under this i am going to use the default selection that is the preferred privilege credentials then press the next button and there is a notification which is saying that we need to run the root.sh script mandatorily after the update but actually the root.script needs to be run only if you are making any changes on the files under the sbin directory which is under the agent home and if you are not making any changes you actually don't have to run the root script and then we will press the ok button now here we are going to select all the default options from the top and then below under the cleanup options section we will select both these options pre cleanup and post cleanup and then we will press the update button and it has submitted a job and if we want to see the details of this job and its status we will follow the link to go to the job page and then we will set the auto refresh to say every 15 seconds to get a more frequent update i will pause the video and i'll come back once this job is completed which is going to take around five minutes so it has been almost 10 minutes and we can see that the job got completed successfully we see two success numbers there let's stop the auto refresh and also in the agent status we can see the two green check marks so our job got completed successfully now let's go back to the gold image home page so manage cloud control under that gold agent images and then manage all images follow the link and now here we can see that uh, both these targets at the top that is vm linux 3 and vm linux 4 these two agents have the image version to apply so this status unreachable should go away momentarily because the job just got completed if we refresh the page we should see all the green check marks there yes green up arrows now let's go back to the agent page under the manage cloud control to see the actual release update apply status and here under the column are you version we see now the vm linux 3 and vm linux 4 both have the release update 22 applied so it means we were able to apply the release update 22 using the gold image on multiple agents just think of a situation say you have hundreds of agents where you need to actually apply the release update in the conventional method you have to transfer the patches to each of the servers then apply the patches individually on all of the agents this is actually going to be a very time consuming activity but using the gold image we are able to parallelly apply the release updates on multiple agents so this is how we can use a gold image to apply patches or release updates etc with this i'm concluding this topic and i'll come back with a new topic for the database administrators or data professionals in the next few days so viewers please provide your feedback in the comment section of the video and hit the like button if you found it useful that will mean a lot to me and help grow this channel